How would you like to get your workout in before you even leave your bedroom in the morning? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple, quick workout you can do every other morning that's gonna put your body on the fast track towards better muscle tone, more muscle, more flexibility, and better health. So let's get after it. So the lighting in the bedroom isn't the greatest, but we're gonna work with what we got. So this simple workout takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes of your morning. And I'm still dressed in my pajamas just to show you. <laughs> just All you have to do, uh, I, I would prefer to do it after a, a morning shower so your body's a little bit warmed up. But if you don't want to do that first, then you can just jump right into this. You know, and just to make a point about how simple and relatively easy this workout is to get started with, about a week and a half ago I had major surgery to remove a section of my colon because I had colon cancer. So I have, I don't know if you can see them, but I have scars. I got a really big one right there. So I'm still, I still have stitches and glue holding my belly together and I'm doing this workout. In fact, this is my third workout since the surgery. So no excuses. This is really one of my favorite morning routines because it starts your day out right and you, you feel better for the rest of the day because you've already gotten your workout in and you didn't lose any time driving back and forth to the gym or getting dressed in, in special gym clothes to go do a workout. It's just very simple. You're in your bedroom, you're done and the rest of your day is all yours. So let's get started. So the first thing I start with is flexibility. We want to go through and get our body warmed up and ready for a little workout. Your lower body tends to get a lot stiffer, a lot more inflexible than your upper body as you, as you grow older. So if you're just getting started, it's very important that you do some stretches before you get too carried away with your other exercises. So we start off by warming up our arms and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do these things in an abbreviated manner so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing, but you'll get the idea. So the first thing is just doing some arm rotations, forward and back. And we kind of make, make a point of moving your arms to the furthest reaches in the back because it stretches out your chest muscles and your shoulder muscles a little bit more. And then we can stretch a little bit of our side, our lats and our shoulders going like this. Same thing this way, stretches out your side a little bit here, your shoulder, backs of your arms. And that's about it for the upper body. That's simple as that. Next, I like to start working on stretching out my legs. And I start with stretching out my calves before I try and stretch out my hamstring. To do that, I, I just use it very simply. You can lean against the wall like this and press your, press your heel to the floor with your legs extended back and you can feel your calf stretching. And you do the other one. And that's as simple as that. You can do it off the end of your bed. Here's a better angle maybe for you to see you're stretching your calves. Each of these stretches I like to hold for a count of 10. And if whichever muscle I'm stretching seems to be very stiff, then I'll release the stretch and then rest for a second or two and then go back into the stretch and give it a little another 10 count just to help push it along the way. So the next stretch is for your hamstrings, standing stretch basically just touching your toes, just bending down, going as far as you can, and you can rock back and forth and help stretch out those calves a little bit more, go up and down, and then hold it for a count of 10 in the most stretched position you can. So the next stretch is to open up your hips a little bit and make them a little more flexible. So you get down on all fours like this, and then I just start moving my knees apart and stretching out the inner thighs and your hip joints. And again, holding them for a count of 10 is kind of the goal. From that stretch, bring your knee up in this position, stretch your other leg back, and then turn your body away from the, from the rear leg and stretch, kind of bend yourself down. So in this stretch is stretching out the outside of your forward leg and the inside of your rear leg. It's also stretching your side, your abs. And again, we do that one, switch sides, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, this next one is one of my favorites because my knees are kind of stiff from injuries that I received over the years. They don't want to bend 
all the way down very easily. This one stretches out your upper body, your lats, your chest muscles, and your arms, and your legs at the same time. So basically all it is is stretching your arms forward, trying to keep your back flat, and then sitting back down on your heels. This one, the main thing this one does for me is stretching, is stretching my knees, breaking through the what I call the cobwebs that make my knees inflexible. And we go from that to one more stretch for the uh, hamstrings and glutes. And again, it's just basically touching your toes. And if you can't touch your toes, go here, or you can bring your toes in and just gradually start working them down until you can get them all the way to the floor. But this is one of the great measures of your flexibility is not only being able to touch your toes, but be able, being able to go beyond touching your toes with your legs flat to the floor. So that's a, one of the goals you should set is to be able to reach beyond your toes with your legs flat to the floor. And then last but not least, we do a little bit of the splits, spread our legs out as far as we can this way, and then take alternate between leaning towards one leg and stretching towards your toe, and then leaning towards the other leg and stretching towards your toe. That stretch not only opens up your hips, but it stretches your inner thighs out and really works that particular angle really works your glutes and your hamstrings as well. So that's your morning stretch. So the remainder of the workout then becomes your resistance part of your workout. And we're just gonna make it very simple. We're gonna call it morning 50. So each of these movements, you're gonna do 50 repetitions. Now you might not get 50 repetitions all in a row and that's okay. Just go as far as you can until you've reached a point of failure basically and then take a little breather and then start back up again and finish. So there's four movements and these four movements will pretty much hit your whole body with a pretty strong focus on the legs, but there's a focus also on balance, coordination and flexibility here. So the first exercise is a simple squat and it's just, again, it's just your body. You don't need extra weights, you don't need extra equipment and in your pajamas. But it's go all the way down as deep as you can go and come back up, down, and back up. Try to keep your body as upright as possible so you're not doing one of these movements. Go straight down and straight back up. 50 of those. Second movement is a lunge. I like to do these with the going backwards because it seems like it puts more load on your leg and your, and your hamstrings and your glutes. So the lunge is simply like this. Drop down onto your back knee and come back up. Drop down onto your back knee on the other leg and come back up. And just keep doing that again until you get 50 of those. So now we're gonna do a wall sit, the last exercise, or the last lower body exercise. Again, the focus on the lower body is because the lower body muscles are some of the most important. They're what carry you from place to place. They're what give you balance, what give you coordination. So a lot of focus on the lower body. But the wall sit is very simple. Lean your back against the wall. Slide down till your knees are parallel to the floor and count to 50 like this. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant till you get to 50 and that's your 50 second wall sit. And the final exercise, you guessed it, Old Faithful, the push up. So just 50 basic push ups, just like this. If you can't do them on your toes, get on your knees and do them like this. Or, and if you can't do that, lean against the wall and just push off the wall for your push-ups. But 50 push-ups, again, if you can't do them all in a row, that's fine. Just stop, take a breather, let your muscles recover a little bit, and then go again. So if you put all of that together, you're gonna spend maybe 10 or 15 minutes doing it, depending on how fast you can get through the uh, exercise portion of the workout. But 10 or 15 minutes right after you get out of bed is not a lot of time to sacrifice to gain good muscle tone, good flexibility, and better health. So if you're struggling for time to do your workouts, this is a very, very simple and relatively easy, pretty much anybody can do it. It doesn't require any special equipment, any special location. This is a very simple way to get started, getting yourself on track to be in, in better shape and better health and being able to enjoy all the activities that life has to offer a lot more. So no more excuses. Try this program out for just 30 days and just do it every other day. Don't do it every day because you need time for your muscles to recover in between workouts. And maybe even the first 
time you do it, if you haven't been doing anything, the first time you do it, you're gonna get pretty sore and you might need two days in between your first workout, but it'll get better. But try it for 30 days and just pay attention to how you feel the rest of the day after you get done, how much better your body moves through your daily activities and just how much more engaged you feel now that you've done something good for your body. I'll apologize for the lighting in here, but I wanted you to see just how it is working out in your own bedroom. And if you got value from this video, please subscribe, please share it with a friend, and I'll hit the like button, of course. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and good luck in your fitness journey.